How y'all feel about New York not making the f- top five dirtiest cities in America list, bro? Shout out to New proud. York. Shout out to New York. That's that's shout out to New York. That's kind of, they deserve. That, that's that's amazing. It's amazing. I'm amazing. Kind of proud of that, man. All all the shit that we get, you know what I mean? Yo, it stinks. I got off of the train and it was stinky. I seen trash. I closed COVID getting on the train. I mean, I, sh- we, I shit on it just as much as everybody else does. But according to the news, you know what I mean? The news will never lie to us. And I'm looking here. This is Fox News. You know they will never tell a lie, fam. They not going to lie to us. They say in the five dirtiest su- cities in Houston, I mean, in America, number one is motherfucking Houston, nigga. God damn. damn. My damn, side of nigga. town. Your side of town. Damn. This might be the first L Travis Scott's ever took him. <laughs> one of them. One of the one first. Of one of the first. God damn, trap. Fuck. The top five dirtiest cities in the country are. Oh, I see. Look. <laughs> Look at Fox News being petty, bro. Look at their first sentence on this article. The top five dirtiest cities in the country are run by Democratic mayors. Damn. <laughs> this is petty when it comes to politics, bro. Uh huh. Why is that the first new? Why is that the first? Shout out to Fox. Shout out to Fox Fox for that. Keeping it real. Keeping it going. You know what I'm saying? See, look, they got me playing. They got ads playing. I don't even want no ads, bro. Let me pull up another. Another. Like you know them demos. You know them demos run these cities, right? Yeah, told you. Some demon rats. Some demon rats. Uh huh. So apparently, two sec, two Texas cities are on this list. And I mean, number one is Houston. Number two, Newark. Number three, mm. San Bernardino. Four, Detroit. Five, Jersey City. So we got two cities in Jersey and two in Texas in the top five. Well, Yeesh. in the top ten alone. Newark and Jersey City? Yeesh. Jersey. Jersey, y'all looking funny in the light, man. All that shit. Y'all be trying to talk from across the bridge. Y'all niggas hey, stink nigga, over listen, there. Listen, nigga. Let me tell y'all niggas something. That's crazy that New York City ain't. Yonkers is even up there, bro. Yo, Yonkers is there? Bro, how is San Antonio on this list? Number seven. Let me tell you a nigga something about New York, New Jersey. Okay. I knew firsthand. Okay. I've been alive for 30 years now. Okay. (laughs) I used to work when I was living back in New York. I used to work at a delivery service. We used to make deliveries all through the tri state area. Uh, Yeah, throughout the tri state area. And one day, Something it, it, does Jersey count in that tri state area too, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah right. One of the, yeah. One of the had, tries, one of the tries, right? Right, I'm a dummy, you can edit that out. Um, <laughs> we had a delivery in, New, in Newark, New Jersey, and let me tell you some shit. First time I've been there, and it was the last time I, I told my boss, I said, Don't don't put me on the truck with one no more. I don't want to go back to New York. <laughs> um, bro, that shit looked like. It looked like the Bronx in the eighties, but that shit looked like it looked like a bomb. That shit was on fire, yeah, bro. That shit looked like it was a transformer fight all through the city. Like Optimus <laughs> and Megatron was fighting all through that bitch, and they just left it. The city didn't bother fixing it. Nothing. It was horrific. It was horrible. It was it horrible. Was. It was the Avengers movie after Endgame when they was complaining about all the destruction they did. It was like Man of Steel. <laughs> yeah, it was like Zod and Superman got into it was it was crazy. It was wild. Should, like Gotham. For real. I, I don't know Damn. if I ever been to Newark, like walking around. No. I I've been to the no. airport. But I, I I think I think that says more to like uh you know the politics in each state. Like I wonder why it remains like you know what I'm saying? Like why they don't you know, these mayors and, you know, these different people that are voted into office and shit like that to deal with these cities. Uh, specifically deal with these cities. Like, why isn't there any efforts or money going into, like, you know, the communities? You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, shit is just weird. And the great words of MJ. And this is in America. This is in America. Yeah. This is in, this is in America. I thought the this was America. The, the yep. land of the free, you know, the most opportunity. Uh, I, I just, it don't really make sense to me. 
you know. So when I look at these lists, I kind of think like uh, a little, you know. These are major the cities too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I just don't really get it. Yeah, it, it definitely probably come. It, not probably it comes down to politics for sure. Like, I'm just looking at Houston being number one, and I mean, I live here. I, I drive around. I wouldn't look and say like, "Oh, it's filthy out here." But in of- the areas where it is dirty, is right. really bad. It's like they don't even have waste management over there. Right. I remember after Hurricane Harvey, bro, it was it might still. I haven't been in these areas since, but there were areas where you know what I mean. They had to gut their houses out. And they had all of like the, no, I mean, the insulation and shit in their front pro- on their front lawn. That shit stayed there for months afterwards. Damn, so, bro, you see. you got to think about it like this. More times than not, in the urban communities, like if if we don't see there's an effort in doing something, we're not gonna bother doing it. So, for example, if my building is dirty. If I grow, if I'm growing up in a, a building or an area that's quote unquote dirty, it's trash on the floor every day. I'm used to seeing that. I'm probably conditioned. Like at that point, I'm throwing shit on the floor too. Mm-hmm, you I'm ready. To. I'm eating. I'm eating some shit. Oh, all right, cool. I'm tossing it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not right. really that big of a deal to me either. So carrying on tradition, right? So I do think the community takes, you know, a part of the responsibility as well. Like a little bit is on the community too. But at the same time, the city needs to acknowledge this shit. Like, the, like these cities, like, come on, bro. Like, I would be pissed off. Yeah. Hmm. Sad. I man. would be pissed. See, this and, is the, and, the, and the great words of Michael Jackson. All I want to say is that. They don't really care about us. And it's crazy. Exactly what, what you mentioned is it, usually in the communities where, you know, what I mean, there's a lot of minorities. This is this is exactly the reason why when I'm in like I might be driving through it's cause an area out here called River Oaks. Any Houston listeners, y'all know where River Oaks is. All the higher upper echelon affluent neighborhoods. I make sure if I got some trash in my car, I litter in them neighborhoods. You know, what I mean, just to restore the balance. You know, what I mean, like because clearly uh. they're cleaning them shits up. So mm-hmm. throw a little trash out there. Let them let the money's worth. Yeah. yeah. Water bottle. They, pay they pay for maintenance. Toss sure. a burger wrapper out the window. Yeah. yeah and then when I when I get back to the hood, I'm I might keep that trash. I'm gonna find a trash can, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I mean y'all I mean I'm in the nice the nice neighborhoods, y'all getting trash thrown out for sure. I got some old baggies I can ship to you so you can throw that shit over there too. You know, hey, send, send it send it on through. Hey, crack I family, y'all listening, go ahead and um We'll put a we'll put an email or some postage, a PO box in the uh, in the comments and in the description. Y'all go ahead and send y'all trash here. We'll make sure we get that shit littered in the uh, affluent uh, neighborhoods. You know what I mean? Word, yeah, we don't get that. it taken care of. Don't niggas take care of that it. shit. Yeah, they pay for that. Mhm, mhm, mhm. It's kind of crazy though. While while all of this is going, we got the rankings for the dirtiest cities. Still fucking natural, not natural disasters, but disasters going on out here. You see that boy, that man, he's back. Wait, that boy did, they have, go. did they have runner up cities? Did I see runner up cities? No, did you see runner ups? Nah, I seen they're they're talking about other uh, Texas cities here. What the fuck? And the top there are also <laughs> some other Texas cities ranked uh, in the top oh, 50. 50, but still kind of. It's a lot of Texas towns. How many cities we got in total? 152. Okay. According to this, among the 152 cities we rank, Space City is the third most polluted. What? Now, how does that make sense if they just say they're number one? What? Our data supports findings. Houston ranks third worst in greenhouse gas emissions from large industrial facilities. That I can definitely agree on, bro. Like, you drive through an area like Pasadena out here in Houston. It's nothing but fucking industrial areas, bro. It's fucking oil rigs, yeah. or it's just mad pollution. So on that, yeah. I can see how that could be. And that might be a part of what attributes to it. It may not be the trash we thinking just on the floor and shit. You know what I mean? Like, 
niggas is probably talking about pollution, clearly. And out here in the H, <laughs> oil, all that shit, gas. You gotta think, out here in Houston, they have their own supply of that, so... This is where that shit originates, and I mean, the big, the city has the biggest cockroach problem, too. Despite such condi- conditions, Houstonians are still more satisfied with cleanliness of their city than residents of 33 other big cities. Mm. And that could make sense. That's kind of exactly what I just said. Like, yo, we don't think it's bad, but apparently, in reference to other cities, it's terrible. But when you're outside looking, you don't really notice it compared to... A place like, you know what I mean, how they try to shit on New York. You go out there, niggas be like, oh, it smells. You see the trash everywhere. You could actually see it, but by per capita, it probably isn't as big, isn't as bad, I mean. Crazy, though, man. But, the, and, 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 like, New York is, like, it's really only dirty, like, in subway areas and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's you not like it's... New York is tiny in con- comparison to, like, a lot of, like, like Houston. Houston is huge, bro. Compared yeah. to New York, the yeah. population might be similar, but in terms of space, square footage, it is nowhere near the same, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and like I said, it's, it's only certain areas. Like, you go to Long Island, and you won't get that complaint at all. But Long Island is fucking clean as a whistle. You know what I mean? Stand clear of the closing doors, please.